Alright ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is Cosmos and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, my friends, I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks on the best way to go ahead and get the advantage inside of Fortnite and how to stay alive and make sure you can secure the win as easy as you like. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I did a video like this before when we actually went ahead and um, I told you guys how to stay alive in Tilted Towers. But today we're going to be broadening out that topic a little bit and be showing you guys how to stay alive in the whole entire Fortnite. So really get you getting through where you start, getting through your landing spot, getting through the mid game, and then getting through the end game to of course go ahead and get you the easy win. So ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't already, make sure you do smash the like button on this video. Let's go for 100 likes. Also, subscribe to the channel and chuck on the notification bell to step to date with all of our videos coming inside of the future of the channel but anyway ladies and gentlemen let's get into this video right now in our first tip right here I'm gonna be showing you uh, just a whole bunch of tips and the first thing is going to be we're gonna be starting off at the very start so you're gonna be giving some land in tips and you guys aren't just gonna want to land in at like some random place that you can't even see on the map the littlest speck on the map no you're not gonna want to land there you're gonna want to make sure you go ahead and land at the biggest area you can find if the bus is passing over Pleasant Park go Pleasant Park if it's going over uh, retail row go retail row if it's going over tilted go tilted and i recommend you guys to start off at those plays and make sure you are playing aggressive inside of those places because you're going to want to be getting better by playing aggressive the more fights you get in the better you will get therefore you'll be getting more loot and you'll be finding a balance between playing over aggressive and aggressive you're going to want to be playing um just aggressive you know in the in these big towns you're not going to be playing over aggressive because it's going to get you killed and i recommend you guys to make sure that you can go ahead and just balance that and just make sure you get landing in these big cities. Don't be afraid. You're going to die sometimes. It's going to happen. But also, you're going to be also making sure you're getting a lot more kills and you're going to become a lot better player. Like, I've always been landing at these big places um, and I always land at places that usually there's people that land there. So, I recommend you guys to land there. That's one of my first tips here. And if you do land at these places, you're going to obviously get better and better and better at landing there. And then, therefore, you're going to be playing more aggressive and you're going to be learning how to play aggressive properly and we're going to be having more tips coming on later in the video but once you've landed in this place maybe you've got a few kills you've cleared out the area you've got a few guns for yourself you're pretty good for healing you're going to want to gather resources early on in the game now usually yeah well, as i said before get a few weapons um then you can go ahead get some materials but you're going to want to make sure most people around you are also uh, very uh, dead. <laughs> you're not going to want people coming at you while you're mining down trees. You're going to want to be your little silent space, okay? And to make it more silent, you're going to want to make sure you're going ahead and knocking down the tree to 50 HP. You guys know you can see the tree health. You want to make sure that you knock it down to 50 HP. You're not going to want to take down the whole entire tree because that's going to just make a big blast on the map where everyone can see where you are and they're going to be like, yo, there's a guy over there. Let's go to him. And that's the worst situation you want to get in. You don't want to get in a situation where the other players know where you are but you don't know where they are. You're always going to want to have the advantage over them by knowing where they are rather than them knowing where you are. So make sure you guys do go ahead and do that. Just get down to 50 HP. Like, you're only going to lose, like, 5 wood from getting it down to 50 HP on average. Uh, so it really doesn't matter if you leave it down to 50 HP. You don't need to mine down the whole thing. It's all right. You don't need to worry about that. Uh, but next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have... Uh, once you've got your wood, once you've cleared out your start area, and once you're really... You're really good to go. You're going to want to make sure when you're getting in gunfights, you're going to know what, what materials you're going to use. Why are you going to use them and when are you going to use these materials? So obviously, we've got wood, we've got brick, we've got metal, and these are all used for different things. Mostly, I don't use metal. I only use metal if I'm obviously like, I really only use it if... I need to like get up a hill or something because I just don't really use metal. It could be strong. I use it at the end bases, like very, very end. But honestly, I don't use it too much. You want to be using wood for rushing players just because if you guys actually get into a game, which I'll show you in a second, um, um, basically if you put down wood and you shoot it with a shotgun, it's not going to break down straight away. But if you do this with metal or uh, brick, it's going to shoot down with one hit. And I'll show you guys that right now inside of the game. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we out here right now. I'm going to be showing you guys basically how wood, metal, and also brick really work when it comes to if you're rushing someone and why wood is really the best one. So let's just say we chuck down a piece of wood right here, take it out, and shoot it. It's not going to one hit it. As you guys see, it survived. So if you're rushing to someone and they try and shoot at you, it's going to survive that one pump hit. And pump is really probably one of the biggest uh, damage things that people are going to be shooting at you. So next up, we got brick. One shot, it's gone. Um, but obviously our wood over here still survived and obviously with the metal it takes a little bit longer once again And it's going to get sh 
shot down as well. I just heard a shot over there. Let's watch out for that. But obviously, I think wood is the best way to go with this. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think if you use wood, it's going to be the best way to go. Because obviously, let's try it again, just in case you guys didn't believe me the first time. Once again, it survives. Uh, but if we go ahead and use brick... It just takes down as easy as that, and that's why wood is the best for rushing, because if you're rushing someone, you're going to want to make sure you don't want to be getting shot down by one hit. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's my tip right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so as you can see there, um, wood is honestly the best thing to do for rushing. Then go ahead and just use brick if you want to go ahead and um, build a little base, or maybe if you've added wood, brick's the next best thing. But brick is really just for little small bases, or even if you don't have enough metal at the end game, you can go ahead and use brick as well. It's a little bit stronger than wood, but it is a little bit weaker in the sense that if you're rushing people, um, it's a lot easier to take down really fast. So next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have um, another thing that I'm going to show you guys. And this is going to be that you're going to want to make sure that you have the high ground over your enemies at all times. Now, just like we're going on with this building thing now. And you're going to want to make sure that you always have the advantage over your enemy. You're going to want to make sure that you use building to your advantage to get the high ground over your enemy. Because the high ground wins you games, as you know, dudes. And Anakin Skywalker got killed by Obi-Wan because Obi-Wan had the high ground, you know. And that's like you in Fortnite. You want to be the Obi-Wan. You don't want to be the Anakin Skywalker. You to be the Obi-Wan, okay? You don't want to be sitting down there and getting your legs cut off and having to respawn in again and start up a whole new game and do all these tips all over again. You're going to want to make sure that you use building properly to make sure you can go ahead and get the high ground over your enemies. Now, there's many techniques, which I'm going to get in the game. I'm going to show you guys some of those techniques right now. All right, now, it looks like there's a gunfight over here. So, we're going to try and get in a gunfight. I'm going to get, show you guys really uh, the high ground and how to get it. So, let's come up here. And obviously, we've got a guy right over here. So, I'm going to show you guys right now. The best way to make sure you get the high ground. Like, as you see, we've got a guy sitting right in here. I could kill him right now, but we're not going to. So, right now, guys, we're going to start shooting at this guy. And obviously, he started up his building. You're going to want to rush him, obviously, with your wood. As I was showing you guys before. And he's going to try and shoot at us like that. So, let's put it up like this. And just like that, guys, we got the high ground over him. As well as covering all of... Our behinds now we just got to try and figure out where this guy is so obviously he's gonna be hiding most likely under my base unless he's ran off somewhere but he's honestly running for his life all right ladies and gentlemen now we're gonna go ahead and talk about right now to you guys basically um how to use protection properly when healing opening drops or making bases and you're gonna you're not gonna want to make sure you just build this one wall to block yourself up when healing up you're gonna want to make sure you're as protected as possible because someone could just come up behind you and shock on you but you're gonna want to make sure you are uh properly i guess protected from your building because you can use building to make sure you can pop it there can be a guy standing right on top of you but if you you build right you can use a chug jug and the guy will not be able to get into you and you can pop that chug jug easily and ladies and gentlemen i'm going to give you guys some tips now i'm going to get back into a game and i'm going to show you guys some of these tips right now all right ladies and gentlemen so if you are lucky enough to get injured um as we see we've got another guy over here and even if there's a guy after you if you go ahead and just build something like this let's let's have this like just for an example like this uh you can go ahead um just take this away like that and then just down here build that one and we can go ahead and just chuck down a cozy campfire and this guy has got no idea what what's going on so we can just have the advantage over him really and this guy's gonna try and rush us and we got like some ground that we can keep here if i had more materials it'd be a lot better um, but obviously this guy's gonna try and rush us and he really can't do much all right, so the last tip on this list, ladies and gentlemen, is make sure you always have out the weapon that you need the most. So if someone runs straight at your face, you don't know where they come from, you're not going to be like, oh, Jesus, switch to this weapon, switch to this weapon. No, you're always going to want to have out the weapon that you're going to be using in close range gunfights. So for me, that right there is the shotgun. So I'll always have my shotgun out when I'm running through the fields or something, because if someone jumps right in front of my face, I want to be able to attack them straight away instead of wasting that one second that could be life or death to switch around it to a different weapon so anyway ladies and gentlemen i recommend you guys to do that but anyway thank you for watching this video i do uh, appreciate the support lately but anyway ladies and gentlemen chuck a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out